In today's video, I'll be showing you my 10 tips on how to become a better drone pilot, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dennis here, back with another video. For those of you who are new here, my channel is all about drone, product reviews, and tutorial videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, do subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos every week. Now that's out of the way, let's get started. All of these tips are quite universal and very common sense. Again, hopefully these tips will help you or enable you to sort of be a better drone pilot and also pick up a couple of new things or new skills that you can incorporate whenever you fly your drone. Tip number one is learn the controls. Mastering the controls is probably one of the key to be successful as a drone pilot. Whether it's a manual mode or GPS mode, learn the controls. Next one is practice, practice and more practice. Learn what each button and function of your drone does and practice using them together and in combination. Just to give you context, if you're taking a drone exam like I did, I needed practice some of the moves in there because they were going to tell you to do this particular moves in your drone and you got to really do it you know as perfectly as you can. Tip number three quite self-explanatory but remember before you fly check your drone. If you look at any Air Force pilots they do pre-flight checklists before they fly. Same goes with a drone pilot you still need to do a pre-flight checklist before you even fly your drone. Make sure your remote control is fully charged make sure uh, the propellers are working, there's no damage to your drone, you know, uh, and those are some of the key things. It's very simple to do, but sometimes we tend to forget it. Tip number four, now that you're ready and you're about to fly, make sure that you keep your eyes on the drone when you're flying. The golden rule of drone flying is to keep your drone in sight. By keeping visual contact, you'll be able to better see potential obstacles or hazards and find it harder to accidentally fly out of range. I'm saying this time and time where people are just too much focusing on the you know the screens but without even checking where the drone is gonna go to be and they end up hitting you know an obstacle a tree or here and there so try to balance it out lo looking at the screens but also having that visual line of sight of where your drone is going which leads me to tip number five pay attention when you're flying this goes hand in hand with number four the most common way people crash their drone is by getting distracted while flying whether you're flying and you're suddenly looking at you know, beautiful girls at the beach or you get distracted with a dog suddenly barking at you trying to have that presence of mind that you're flying you're keeping eyes on the drone and also in the remote control and the, and the screens and also make sure that you're you're aware of your surroundings as well okay tip number six and this could be a sensitive topic do not fly your drone or crowded places depending on where you live and which country you live in if you're flying your drone in very crowded places it's definitely frowned upon sometimes it's it's illegal. Tip number seven, be careful when flying in the wind. Windy days are some of the most difficult conditions when you're flying your drone in. It doesn't help because it impacts your stability of your drone flight and also the accuracy of your drone flight. So think about it. The wind is so strong, but your drone is tiny like a spark. If you're flying against the wind, forget it because your spark will end up using a lot of battery to sort of use all the power to actually push through the wind. Tip number eight is particularly on filmmaking. Make sure you plan your shots before you even fly. Make sure you plan your flight route and shots before you start flying your drone. You gotta do some research, survey that area or location that you're gonna go, how am I gonna fly, what type of shots I'm gonna take, plan your route, you know what you wanna do, you know what type of shots you're gonna take, it's gonna save you a lot of time, you know, juggling around, thinking what to do. Tip number nine, keep spares on hand. Whether it's a spare propeller, spare batteries, you know, make sure you actually have spares uh, in your bag. Let's just say one of the propellers uh, broke or there's something wrong with the spell propeller when you landed that. At least you have a spare one, you can easily replace that and you can continue on with your drone flight. Okay, and finally, tip number 10, educate yourself for the drone laws that's applicable in your area or the country that you live in or also the country that you potentially be flying into to fly your drone. This is probably the most important one because we get too excited when we have that drone. Last thing you want to do is when you're at the airport and the security officer tells you, oh, you know, drone's not permitted in this country, we have to confiscate that. Generally now, um, 
you know, a lot of countries are, tend to be more acceptable with drones, but there are still specific countries or locations where drones are banned or illegal. So make sure that you educate yourself uh, on the places that you're gonna go into, but also educate yourself with the drone laws that's applicable uh, in your area or in the country you live in. Remember to keep yourself up to date with the drone laws. Like I said, they tend to change from time to time. So yeah. Those are the tips that I can share for you today to, on how to become a better drone pilot. I'm sure there's plenty more out there. So if you do have anything or if I missed something, feel free to comment down below, share it with us. We'd love to it from you. I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Remember to give it a like, really appreciate it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Oh by the way, do follow me on my other social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and more for news, updates and exclusive content. Well that's about it. This is Dennis. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.